Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ravi, and welcome back to another Premiere Pro tutorial from Ira FX. So, in this video, we'll be learning to make this text fading effect, or you can also call this a title fade animation inside Adobe Premiere Pro. We also have Mr. Zebo who will be just hanging around in this tutorial. So, without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing is to create a new sequence so that we can work inside it. So I click on this button here and click on sequence so that a new sequence can be created and I'll set this to 1080p resolution and just hit OK. So we have a sequence ready and we'll be adding some elements to it. So the first thing is we'll add some background. So to do that, I'll just create a new item called color mat. I'll just hit OK. This can be any color, so I'll just hit OK. So I'll drag the color mat onto my first video layer here and I'll just go to the FX panel and type in ramp. So you have this ramp effect in the generate folder of the video effects and just drag this ramp effect onto your color mat like this. Once you do that, you have a color gradient here and I'll just change the ramp shape from linear ramp to radial ramp and I'll then increase the y axis value so that the start of ramp is at the center of our video and I'll then change the start color to a light blue this can be any color that you want and I'll change the end color to a dark blue something like this so now we have a you know a smooth color gradient background created and we'll be adding a title onto the top of our video. So to do that, I'll just click on this T button here so that we create a, a text layer or you can always create a new legacy title and just work on it. In this case, I'll just tap this T button here so that we get the type tool and I'll create a text something like this. So I'll just center this. I'm using this Tahoma font um, and I also set this to bold and I'll just increase the font size by just dragging this slider here perfect I'll just center this as well so I'll click on our text layer here and in the effect controls in the opacity section we have a, a rectangle mask button here so if I click this you can see that a rectangle mask is created so I'll just move this to the left side just like this and I'll just increase the you know size of our mask layer like this and make sure you are at the first frame of our video and click on this timer button here for the mask path so that a keyframe is created at the first frame and just move to around 3 seconds forward or 2 seconds forward and just increase the mask size so that the entire text is now visible. Perfect. So if I start playing the video you can see that this is how our text layer fits in like this. You can see that the text mask is a bit sharp so to fix that I'll just increase the mask further from 10 to 150 and if I start playing the video you can see that the text opens in very smoothly just like this. So we'll have to repeat the same thing while fading out. So once you are at the uh, go to the last frame of your video and just bring back the left side mask in such a way that the entire text is now not visible you can see that a keyframe is created at this point just like this so if you start playing the video you can see that our text fades in very smoothly and then fades out just like this so I'll attach this project file in the link in the description below. You can just simply download this and change the text and use it like a template. 
I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXKairavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.